Dude, Ravy's a bagel scooper. No. <laughs> and it bothers me. I don't know why. So, uh, I don't know why it bothers me. I can tell you why yeah. it bothers you, because it's food waste. I don't, well, I don't care about that. <laughs> What's a bagel I, scooper? I do care about food waste. So you get the you, so you get a bagel, you slice it in half, and then you trench it out. So you have like the the half of the bagel in your hand, and you dig out the whole middle chewy part of the bagel. So you like hollow it out? Basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, but yeah. the chewy part is not the part I like. It's I like a, the exterior. Yeah. And I said, "What are you bagel. doing?" She says, "It's too bready." Yeah. <laughs> it's like when Mike the Show Killer says that her sports are too sportsy. It's a bagel. Yeah. yeah. It, it's been a thing for quite a long time, but some guy pissed off the internet. Like, right. It's the been past a big story and recently. Yes. Yeah. I know, yeah. but Ravi's always done this. And yeah, it, I know. And it annoys me the same way that, um, and it shouldn't. I know it shouldn't. It's dumb. It's just one of those things that you see, mm -hmm. and you have no real reason to, uh, to have an, well, you can have an opinion, but like to have a reaction to it. That's how I like it. I just don't get like have half the bagel if it's too much like is it that it's too much I know how you are with portions no it's just too bready like too I said bready. I like the exterior <laughs> where you know it's an everything bagel all the deliciousness is on the outside and see made a inside. comment too and and I and I agree the other thing that really is triggering the people who blot their pizza uh, okay why? see I wouldn't do that see, why are you doing that just like I they like immediately do it it's just like that okay another <sighs> another person that annoys me uh, the people who <laughs> immediately salt their food before you've even tasted it. Oh, yeah. Hi, super fan Gina. Talking and to you. My dad, too. My dad does that. I'm like, dude, you haven't even tasted it yet. And he's like just killing it. I mean, <laughs> and I don't mind if you put salt on it. Taste it first. How's his blood pressure? Okay. Um, good question. That is a good question. Super fan Gina carries salt in her purse. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Nice. Wow. I'm like, what Respect. is happening? <laughs> and it doesn't, it doesn't affect me. I shouldn't get it bothered by it. It doesn't affect me either. But, like, for some reason, I look at it and I go, ugh. <laughs> but that's surprising. Like, I when, hate it so when much. salt comes out of somebody's purse at a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not even, you know, it's not like I cook the meal or whatever. I could see, like, where a chef would be... Um, insulted and, and yeah, chef, you haven't even given it one bite yeah. and chefs will say that that is insulting when people immediately season the food before they've even tasted it's just a it a sign of low classness um you know throwing sauce up on that immediately right uh, yeah. yeah especially yeah. when it's so much it's not even like it's a pinch like you don't know maybe it's like you ever get something that you haven't put salt on and it's already super salty and now you haven't even tasted it yet and now you've just now dumped an like... ocean's full of salt on it <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I knew somebody like that. They put salt on pizza. Ugh. Yeah, on pizza. Really? Salt on salad. Like garlic salt or just like regular salt? Regular salt. I put a little everything. bit of salt on salad. Like a pinch. Really? You do? I do yeah. not. On salad? Yeah. Huh. We've talked about that before. That's one of the things that makes them restaurant-y. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh. Okay. I put a pinch. Yeah. There's Dude, a book. The... Should I scoop out my bagel and 99 other answers to your everyday diet and nutrition questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you're worried about diet and nutrition, you're not eating a bagel. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like you're eating pizza. Why are you bothering with the the? You're taking the paper towel. You're smashing it onto the top of the pizza. Why? And it's even more insulting or just ridiculous when you see dudes do it. You're a man. Yeah, be a man. man be up. a man. <laughs> Eat you grease. eat that pizza with the grease. You let it shoot out the the the, the folded side on the bottom <laughs> onto the plate like a man, and, and onto your shirt. Yeah, not onto the shirt. Your pants. Yeah, no, on the shirt because you're a man and you don't care. Who eats like that? I'm saying that's how you should eat if you're a man. Get the grease all over you. Just run on your hands and yeah. stuff. Yep. Yeah, yep. That's right. Eat like a man. And your pants. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, excuse me. Do you have any paper towels so I can blot my pizza? No. You eat the pizza <laughs> like a man. <laughs> This wouldn't be a problem. You know, pizza grease would not be a problem, Greg, if people would not stop ordering pepperoni on every damn slice. Ooh, Ooh, thank you. Get you. That, see, and that's part of the, the, that's part yeah, of the no. joy of that. Like, extra pet. I'd like a yeah. slice of the basic bitch pizza, please. Thank you. That's yeah. crazy. Mm. And a cup and char. Yeah, and a cup of char pepperoni, char pepperoni char where the grease collects in there like a little jacuzzi. It's most popular with basic bitch Ooh. and children. Mm. So, yeah. I'll have that. Children. Children only eat cheese pizza. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they hate pepperoni. Dumbass. Yeah, they totally do. They hate it. No five. Five girls ever eaten pepperoni? Never. No, no. They no. Eat but like, cheese. dude, you go to I'm, as a guy who's been to a lot of kids' parties, <laughs> yeah. my kids' parties, and taking them to their friends' parties. If it is a pizza party, there might be one pepperoni pizza and then five or six just regular cheese pizzas. Mm, That's all they want. It's all they'll eat. Dumbasses. Yeah. You're like, really? There's better pizzas. Yeah, it's the vanilla of pizza. <laughs> pepperoni sure is cheese pizza. Like. <laughs>
Sure is. God, Ravy, I say you eat your bagel however you want. Well, thank oh, you, she Ray. can. And again, yeah. I know it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm sorry it bothers you, but, <laughs> but it, this is also the that lady, behavior's not going to change. This is the lady that cries when, let's say, we've got a McDonald's breakfast and they give us that full breakfast platter with the pancakes and well, the sausage. Well, it's just too much food. It, well, <laughs> and, and, the other, and the other part, like, she was, the yeah, yeah, she was just doing it during food. this last mm. commercial break. And she's finger banging the hell out of the uh, out of the the, like, the bagel. You gotta scoop it. And she's got both hands in there. Well, I just washed my hands. Like a mechanic under the hood, and she's got like all well, ten how else fingers. Treating me how like else could I'm she a, do ten it? Years old. All ten fingers are in that bagel. How else do you scoop it? I bet you they have a uh, well, got a spoon or something. <laughs> like a melon baller. Yeah. <laughs> you don't <laughs> scoop it. That's maybe the thing, as God intended bagels to be. How else do you scoop it? Aren't you a oh, religious person? Is. Amazon has a bagel. Of and course they scooper. do. Amazon's got everything. It's well, kind of a. It's not a spoon. It's sort of a like a double sided, like very soft uh, tipped saw. <laughs> with a little loop, like it's a, like it's a, a horseshoe loop with a little oh, good. mini. Uh, Maybe I'll get one for home and work. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a unique. laughs>